Got a pickup truck with a dog box Slam full of hounds that don't know when to stop Until the old male Rambo's his name He's quick on his feet, hell on game Got a little chip in the back of the pack She ain't real fast, but she's true on the track She's got the drive and she's got the guts And that's why she's gonna run with us It's in the blood in your veins, you can't Time is passed down through your family name. It's a pack of dogs coming through the pines. Lights of fire in a young boy's eyes. Just a word of the hound. It sounds just right. It's dog time. Hey everybody, tonight's video is going to feature a coon hunt with Austin Terrell. Austin Terrell is a coon hunter and a competition handler that's been hunting for quite a while. In this video you get to meet him and see what dogs he's hunting right now. I'd also like to share with you guys that I started my Patreon pup series. And that's been going really well and I really appreciate all of you that have joined recently and all the longtime supporters on there. I really appreciate you making this possible and I have a jam packed schedule coming up so there's going to be a lot of great stuff for you all. I hope you're all looking forward to that and here's tonight's video. You wanna introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Austin Terrell from Dayton, Ohio. You wanna just kinda tell us about yourself, how you got into coon hunting? Yeah, um, so I started coon hunting at a very young age. My dad got me involved in coon hunting. Um, we would hunt about every night. I'd cry and beg to go, because I loved it so much. Um, he would take me to hunts with him and teach me you know, to learn the rules and all the basics. And then we started going just about every weekend um, to youth hunts with Noel Allen and his son and um, you know I would hunt some adult hunts as well and I just took it from there and been hooked ever since and, and I love it and um, my mom my dad and my wife and all my friends and family they've all supported me in something that I love I really appreciate all that who are we hunting with tonight uh, tonight we got the wicked ambush uh, he's out of the wicked vapor and um, we're hunting big uh, dog out of Big Lee. Um, his name is Hook. And we're gonna hunt them two tonight. All right. Ready? Yep. Good. So we're walking in. Good job. Yep. How far did he go there? About 300. 300, cut him loose. 300 raccoon. We're waiting on him to get struck. You want to tell me what you've won with this dog? Yeah, um, I've got second place with him at the uh, Super Stakes as when he was a junior. Uh, we won a lot of other open event hunts with him. Placed him, I think, ninth in Autumn Oaks, and uh, pretty much always won. He's four years old, I believe, so he's been pretty good to us. Yep. 0.64 in there, Treed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
0.64 on the long edge of a river. Treed one inside of a den tree. You can see inside there. All that traffic. Yeah, I thought I heard him, but I wasn't sure enough. To Do so you want to talk about kind of how you like starting pups? Yeah, um, I like starting pups, taking it real slow with them if I can. Um, I like to show them a couple cage coons. I don't like to show them a lot of coons in the traps. Um, and I try to work one thing at a time with them. You know, their biggest hole, whatever it is, I try to, you know, stay focused on that. And then I go from there with them and just with time and hunting with older dogs if they have it in them they will make it and you know that's how I like to do it how I've been taught and always done it you guys want to turn yours with him in here okay yeah we'll do that they're gonna turn their walker loose with them now That's what it sounds like. In a giant tree down in the hole, down in the bottom. How far is he? As we were walking into ambush, we were on the edge of a riverbank, so I couldn't get down there and get any footage of him. So Austin went down there and got him. We had to do another spot and turn loose one more time with him. You want to just tell us kind of some of the bigger hunts you've won? Yeah, I've uh, placed a lot UKC black and tan days with my dogs, with other dogs. Um, got top 100 of the UKC, uh, made it to the UKC World Hunt. Uh, won first place at, the, at those uh, regional qualifying. Um, second place 
uh, Super Stakes. Oh, that was a real big one. I've won a bunch of Pro Classics, um, Legacy Hunts. Um, placed second one year, the Georgia State race. Um, trying to think of some others. All won the Black Gold Hunt with me and my dad's black and tan. Uh, Renata Mokes, the, we won all three nights, the overall winner. And uh, I've doubled up with a bunch of different dogs at the Super Stakes, fall and spring, and the PKC World. And that's pretty much it. A bunch of other smaller open event hunts. Been in the Final Four, stuff like that. What dog are we hunting next? Uh, we're going to hunt a dog out of Big Lee. He's a spring one-year-old. Um, I'm going to handle him at the Super Stakes, Spring Super Stakes this year. Um, Robbie Willie owns him and uh, Michael Mitchell. Um, we're going to try to get his 101 and see what he can do at the Super Stakes. Thank you, Austin, for taking me hunting and sharing your story with us. And like I said at the beginning of this video, I have a jam-packed schedule coming up with coon hunting and squirrel hunting both, some hounds with spotlights, and some new projects. So make sure you stick around, and if you're enjoying these videos, press the subscribe button, and also click the notification bell. That way you get notified when new videos are posted. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ah!